The Block II has just been a workhorse for the Navy. I started flying it almost 20 years ago. It's brought the AESA radar, which is an advanced radar system, which allows us to see the threat before they can see us. It's brought the joint helmet mounted queuing system, which really helps us a lot in the air to air and the air to surface role. It allows us to see targets and symbology that we couldn't see before. It's brought a lot of bring back uh, back to the ship uh, as far as fuel range and endurance and uh, weapons. And it's really just been a very dependable platform for the U.S. Navy. Block 3 uh, brings even more capability. So when you think that you can't make the airplane any better, uh, we come along with more technology and improvements to the system itself. With Block 3, we get an advanced cockpit system, which consists of a large area display, a touch screen that allows the pilot to interact with the aircraft more efficiently. Uh, we also are bringing on a, um, a new data link system so we can communicate with other aircraft and other ground stations. Uh, we're also getting more processing power and uh, some more uh, stealth as well. So the aircraft really is increasing uh, capability uh, in a significant way with the Block 3. To me, uh, it means a lot. It's, it's the aircraft I grew up in. It's the aircraft that I, I've, I've flown most of my career in. Um, so to see us transition from the Block 1 to the Block 2 to the Block 3 is just remarkable. Um, it's, it's a very dependable, a very capable airplane. Uh, it's brought me home to the ship in some very uh, dangerous and uh, tough conditions. Um, so it's the airplane that the Navy relies upon.